whatever question you have about God, if you are wondering, wondering what you can do to get right with God, this is a basic list of things that you can do to get right with God. So you may have co-workers or family members that may be wondering what they can do. You can show them this and I am sure that this is going to help them. Of course I could write more things and make it more longer but I just want to make sure that it is short enough but straight to the point. Okay, let me read it. We all have to make sure that we are not working against ourselves. Many of the time, we do things that harm ourselves, whether it be our intention or ignorance. Repentance. Repentance is very important. Every time when you do something wrong, you must repent of it. Acts 3 and 19 and 1 John 1 and 9. Basically, all you have to say, God, please forgive me of all my sins. Help me to be more obedient to you. You have to be serious when you say this. You have to be serious about what you are saying. Of course, you may make mistakes in the future. I understand this. Everyone is going to make mistakes. As long as you are not premeditating or planning to sin, while you are repenting, your repentance will be accepted. As long as you are not premeditating or planning to sin, while you are repenting, your repentance will be accepted. So keep that in mind. If you are repenting and planning on sinning the next day, you are not serious about changing your ways. <laughs> Makes sense, right? So how can God forgive you? He won't be able to forgive you. If you die as an unrepentant sinner, there is no way that you, okay, let me scroll down, will be able to go to heaven. According to the Bible, according to the Bible. So we should not take repentance so lightly. If you do, you will regret it. Our words. Did you know that our words have power? Proverbs 18 and 21. What we say have power over us, whether it is negative or positive. When you speak negatively about yourself and things, you are attracting negativity to you. You are going to reap, you are going to reap whatever you sow. Whatever we put out, we are going to get back. Whatever you put out, we are going to get back. Does that make any sense? Okay. So when you speak, do and think about bad things, negativity is going to rush back to you. It can come back in the form of anything that is negative. It does not have to come back in the same way that you have placed it out. So if you punch a person in the face, it does not mean that you are going to get punched back right in the face. Something else bad may happen to you. Okay. Habitual random sin. Sin is something that can allow bad things to happen to you as well. When you are disobedient to God, curses will come upon you. Deuteronomy chapter 28, 
15 through 68. Disobeying God, doing whatever you want to do, may feel good at the time, yet many people don't realize don't realize what sin is doing to them. Many people should connect the bad things that they do in life with the bad things that are happening to them now. People don't do this. This is why people continue to sin and receive much punishment from it. It is like an unending process. Sin only gives you temporary enjoyment. After you do it, payment must be received, punishment. When you obey God, you will receive blessings. Your mother and father would happily reward you for being obedient to them. This applies to stable parents, <laughs> not unstable parents. In this aspect, God is the same. He will reward you for being obedient. He will discipline you when you are disobedient. God is our Father. He really is. So you may not have a father now. If you are living for God, he is your father. Everyone's father who is obeying him. Spiritual fast. You may need to go on a spiritual fast. What is a spiritual fast? Don't eat or drink anything for a particular time. From what I know, people go on a fast from one to three days. If you are able, you should fast for more than that, perhaps a week. The sky is the limit. Ooh. The longer the fast, the better, yes, the longer the fast, the better. What does a spiritual fast accomplish? Many things. It will lower your desire to sin. It will make you more focus. No. Yes. It will make you more focused to serve God properly. When you go on a spiritual fast, you should read your Bible and pray. Very important. I advise you to read in the New Testament. Start in Matthew. When you pray, you are just having a conversation with God. <clears throat> Speak to God as if he is a friend. The way that the way that you will speak to your friend, speak to God in the same way. Of course, be respectful. That should go without saying. You can tell God about your day and the problems that you are facing. You can tell him about the things that you want, so on and so on. Keep in mind, it is just a conversation. There is no special technique in praying. You are just speaking to God. Be honest and sincere when you are speaking to God. Does that make any sense? So, like I said before, this is just a basic list. And Make sure that you are staying away from bad music, bad TV shows, anything that is really sinful. Stay away from sinful people if you can, because these things are going to get you sin. So I really hope that makes sense. Okay.
God bless.